Just how windy is it in Chicago? Does it snow all year round? Are there sharks in Lake Michigan? Well, in this video, I'm diving deep into the weather and the four seasons here in Chicago, so stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. What's happening, everybody? This is Austin Weiss. I'm a local real estate agent right here in the Chicagoland area. If you're new to this channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, living, playing right here in Chicago, Illinois, make sure to tap that bell and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Okay, I've had quite a few emails and phone calls recently asking about the weather here in Chicago, so I thought I'd put together a little weather video all about how much it snows, what it's like here in the summer, and how windy it really gets. Expect all four seasons here in Chicagoland where April showers literally bring May flowers, sunshine filled summers with perfect temps, bright and colorful fall weather, and the cold, wet and dark winters. But hey, the holidays are pretty awesome here between November and December, between all the festivals, the ice skating, the shopping, and the holiday lights. It's second to none. In springtime, expect Mother Nature to not cooperate as the mornings will be cold, sometimes snowing in the 40s and 30s, and by afternoon it could be up in the 60s and 70s. Beautiful, bright, sunny days, so make sure you dress accordingly. So how windy is it really in Chicago? Technically, the term windy city is not due to the weather, but hey, what the heck, that's what most people know it as. There's actually 78 cities in the lower 48 that are windier than Chicago, with 11 major cities windier than the windy city. Boston takes the gold at 12.4 miles per hour average wind, and Chicago's a measly 10.3 miles per hour. Most of the wind comes off of Lake Michigan as lake effect, which is great for that cool breeze to mitigate some of that heat in the summer. However, the wind doesn't die down in the winter and actually picks up and it brings in more precipitation in the form of rain and more snow. Definitely make sure you're aware the weather could be vastly different between the suburbs and downtown in the city of Chicago where it could be 80 degrees out in the suburbs, hot, sticky, humid summer day, and it could be 65, cool breeze, just perfect weather downtown in Chicago. Uh, so make sure you dress accordingly. That's mostly due to the lake effect like I mentioned earlier. All right, when you compare Chicago to other major Midwest cities, you can see that snowfall is definitely less than our northern neighbors in Milwaukee. And in Minneapolis, St. Louis gets considerably less snow, but they do have more accumulation of rain throughout the year. And this just shows the you know number on average uh, throughout the year of sunny days, uh, July highs and January low temps, and a couple other comparisons. The cool thing about Chicago is, you know, definitely compared to the southern states, we don't have the enormous bugs and creepy crawlers uh, that you find there in the summer, along with the consecutive days of 100 degrees Fahrenheit plus. So if you're looking to escape the hot, humid uh, southern states and you want something more of a mild, cooler climate, uh, Chicago definitely could be a destination for you to live. And if you're coming from up north and you want to get out of the snow, uh, Chicago definitely has considerably less snow than our northern neighbors. We experienced the best weather here in Chicago, late spring, summer, and early fall with May and October, daytime temps typically in the 50s and 60s, nighttime in the 40s and 50s, the occasional 70s and 30s, so make sure you don't plant that garden until mid to late May so they don't freeze over. June, July, August, September, Beach season, festival season, and baseball season. The best part about our beaches is it's fresh water, so no sharks, jellyfish, and creepy crawlies swimming around your feet. Typically, the weather is in the 70s and 80s. Mid-June to early August, you might experience some 90s, maybe for a week or two. Personally, I think September is the best weather month, probably because football's starting, it's my birthday month, the leaves are just starting to turn a bit red and yellow, you get that cool, crisp breeze, and it's still in the 70s and 80s. The fall weather in November and December brings us colder weather, typically in the 30s and 40s, with beautiful colors on the trees, reds, oranges, yellows. Uh, we don't typically see too much snow here in November and December. We save that for after the new year in January. That's our snowiest month. Ever heard of a snowbird? We pretty much coined that term here in Chicago, with a lot of locals hitting the airports to head to warmer climates. Uh, getting out of town for January and February. A lot of people also have second homes down in Florida and Arizona for that matter. 
with temps typically on average in the 20s. Throughout the year in Chicago, we see about 25 days of snow. Uh, most snowfalls are one inch or less with an average of only one day per year of five inches or more. It can get pretty fun here. Sledding is really popular and ice skating as well. And March and April, just when you think winter is over, you feel the sunshine on your skin the first time in weeks. You get outside, you put a short sleeve shirt on, even though it's only 50 degrees. Hey, that's what people here in Chicago do. It could be 70 one day in March, snow, sleet, and rain the very next day and be 30 degrees. But hey, we're used to it here. All right, I found this cool website called timeanddate.com. It shows you the length of the days throughout the year in the city of Chicago. Obviously with the fall back date and spring forward date when the changing of the clocks, uh, you can see that obviously June 21st is gonna be your longest day of the year um, with most of the sunlight you know, being between that 5.15 a.m. Uh, till about 8.30 at night is, is the sunset. Uh, and then in December and January, you can definitely see that the days are shorter. Sunrise is going to be from 7 to 7.20 a.m. and sunset around 4.30 to 5 p.m. And just to cram in some more weather stats about Chicago into this video, roughly 137 days during the year, it's going to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit or more with 122 days throughout the year, uh, 32 degrees or less. We get about 33 inches of precipitation here in Chicago. That's rain only, that doesn't include the snow. Uh, for all you on the metric system, which is literally 90% of the rest of the world, uh, that's gonna be about 84 centimeters. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and tap that bell. I would love the support. If you're ever thinking about making a move here to Chicago or anywhere in the Chicagoland area, I would love to at least have a conversation with you and simplify that move for you. I'm available by phone, text, email, days, nights, weekends, and I have your back when you're making a move here to the Chicagoland area. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.